This past week, I caught up with the head coach and special teams coordinator for Ball State football. And we talked about how they've worked to improve this part of the game. And hopefully we'll work to improve it by uh, me doing a good job being a special teams coordinator. This is a new title for me. Uh, it's the first time as a staff that we've had, um, you know, kind of one assistant coach uh, just be delegated to that duty in terms of coaching. Um, I'm the special teams coordinator. I'm the recruiting coordinator. When it comes to football, my focus is entirely on special teams 100% of the time. Uh, so hopefully, you know, that will help. And so far, um, I think I think it has because I've been able to devote a lot of time to it. We got a lot of new a lot of new players on special teams this year. You mentioned already we're going to have a new kicker, uh, we're going to have a new long snapper, we're going to have a new holder. So right right in there in that operation, we've been working on that a lot more this spring than we did last spring. I mean last year Joey Lynch was a holder here for four years in a row, which is a critical part of it. Um, Mike Hay was our long snapper for four years here, four falls straight falls in a row. Uh, but Cody Momacamp is uh, is also from the same high school, as a matter of fact, Coldwater, Ohio. Who's going to be the replacement to Chris Jackson, who did a great job when you look at his body of work over the last four years and uh, game-winning uh, field goals and, and how he kicked the football for us. And, and Jacob Hogue and uh, even McGarvey, who's a young man who, who will come in in this freshman class, we think they both have a, a lot to offer us. It's challenging because you're going to have somebody who hasn't done it yet, you know, out there. Uh, right now, uh, Jake Hogue is a, uh, you know, is a freshman for us. He was a redshirt freshman this past year. Um, so he will play this year right now. He's our kicker. He's doing very well. Um, he was a, uh, a preferred walk-on last year. So uh, honestly, right now, I think we're in a fortunate position because due to the way Jake came in and performed, you know, last year in practice, we felt pretty comfortable that he could be our kicker this year. We're going to start with more of an emphasis on our kickoff coverage unit, which I think last year you know let us down a couple times. You know, start working on more of those techniques and finding out who can really be on that team, who we want to be on that team in the fall, um, and also work on our punt block return team as well, uh, trying to develop them into a more aggressive unit. You know, where we can put pressure on more punts at the same time. Uh, put in and install a sound philosophy and game plan on our punt block return so you know we can maximize the most of, out of our returner. B.J. Hill, who's been back there and has been a pretty solid returner for us and get the most out of him and get some big yardage and gains in the field position. We led the MAC in net punting last year, mainly because we had very good, we had good protection and we had a good punter who could really get a leg on it and we had good coverage. So I would say that is our strength right now. Chris Miller, uh, all-conference punter, uh, an All-American on some teams as a punter. He'll be a preseason All-American guy, I think, in some picks. Uh, you know, Chris did a great job in punting and uh, averaged 47 yards per punt. We got to work harder in our punt protection, but be able to keep that operation time down um, to keep that as our strength, uh, which was last year and probably is right now. With the football team, I'm Peter Carr, BallStateSports.com.